Jesus Christ, who is Lord of all and the great I am. I exhort God this wonderful evening coming to your homes, coming to wherever you are through this channel. We give glory to God that he has given us an opportunity to minister to you and that I will bring the message of God. I say we because through the church and the leadership of the church we've been able to come to you using this media recording and posting it wherever uh, wherever you are so that you can see you can watch and you can be encouraged one of the things that i want to emphasize i said on sunday is that uh, god is in control that's number one and he is very much in charge two this is a season covid 19 is a season and it will come to an end in fact, it shall come to an end. And therefore, we cannot give up. We cannot give up hope. We cannot tire. And we will not. We will not be worried at any time. Because this COVID-19 is battling our country. It's battling the whole world. And we can see or we are facing the challenges. Today, I want to come to you in our fellowships. This wonderful evening, I want to come to you to glorify as I glorify God in the theme and I want to share on the theme abide in Christ abide in Christ I'm trying to follow up with the message I shared on Sunday so that uh, on Sunday we shared about uh, trust in God we trust or trusting in God so how do we abide in this God how do we remain in him as we abide or as we trust in him so the message or the theme today is abide in Christ. We will get the reading from the Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter 7 verses 7 to 11. You can also read 1 John chapter 3 verse 13 to 15. Matthew chapter 10, I mean chapter 7 verse 7 to uh, chapter 7 verse 7 to 11. It reads, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and it will, you will fight. Knock, the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receives. He who seeks, finds. And to him who knocks the door, will be opened. Which of you, if his son asks for bread, will give him a stone? If he asks for fish, will give him snake. If you then, though you are evil, know how to give good gift to your children, how much more will your father in heaven give you good gifts to those who ask him? That is the word of God to his children. Let us pray. Almighty God, in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we thank you for this opportunity to come and to share your word. It's an opportunity that you have given us, Lord, like no other time. And Jesus, we celebrate you because even in all circumstances, you are glorified and you remain God. I come to you this wonderful evening, praying for my brothers and sisters, even as we share this word, may you reveal it to us. May you speak to us. May you open our hearts to you. The Lord God Almighty will hear this word. May the words of my mouth and the inspiration of our hearts please you in heaven. Almighty God. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. <clears throat> Abide in Christ. Abide in Christ. What is to abide? To abide is to dwell. To remain and to last. 
another one is to bear and endure so that's what it is to, to abide so you you when you when you dwell you also endure all that is going on in that abode that place that you have occupied the temperatures the setting may not be the same like the way probably you are used to but you abide with it or you live and you put up with it have you ever thought of the concern God has for us though we are weak yeah we are weak but God is concerned with each one of us he cares for us imagine the hand of state calling you to know how you are faring you must be a special friend to him or her if the hand of state calls you you know even being called by the governor or called by even the MPA, M MP or even MCA sometimes uh, well, it, it, you must be a very special friend the almighty God takes time to think listen to all those who seek and abide in him he takes time God takes time to listen to each one of you each one of us he takes time to listen to you because you are very special the hand of state may not call you unless you are very special friend but God listens to everyone who is or who belongs to them though God takes this or is keen to hear us we must always never forget to call on him yes even though God takes time to listen takes time or he takes he takes care of all of us he thinks about us don't forget to call him don't forget to communicate with him that's how you maintain a relationship that's how you maintain a relationship that's how you keep a relationship that is lovely that is good Matthew reckons what Jesus took time to teach his disciples and his hearers prayer is the appointed means for obtaining what we need one of the things that Jesus is talking here you, you, it is chapter 7 actually it is one of the long the longest speech that Jesus gave that Matthew records at the at the beginning of the ministry of Jesus Christ what we call the Beatitudes it takes time to explain what it is in fact we can say it is the inaugural speech and he explains several things and one of the things that he took time to explain explain is prayer a communicating a relationship a relationship that we need to create that he has created an avenue of interaction between us and God he took time to explain that and he says and one of the things that he emphasizes is about prayer that it's for us to maintain a good relationship a communication with God to maintain that relationship so that we can abide we can remain and we can dwell in him it is through prayer because God takes time to listen to our prayers he takes time to hear what we are saying though we abide in Christ we must pray often we must pray often we must make it a business we must make it our business to pray and be serious and earnest on it that's what Jesus is helping us to understand though he takes time and we are abiding in him we must always take time we must make it our business prayer becomes a part and parcel of our business that's how when on last Sunday we were talking about um, um, dwelling or trusting in God one of the key areas that you can maintain that trust is through prayer it is through having a constant prayer with God maintaining that constant prayer so that's what Jesus is telling us today that we need to have that serious we must have we must make prayer our business every time anywhere at every place I am saying everywhere at any place we must pray for us to maintain that relationship for us to trust for us to have that continued relationship 
we must maintain a communication. We must maintain our lines. Our lines must be alive, talking to him in every place. So that's why Jesus is saying, ask, as a beggar asks for arms. You know, those people who are asking for support, they are beggars in the street. We, along the street, you may find people who are begging. They ask, and even if you do not give, even if you look, you look if, even if you insult them, even if you talk ill up with them, or you, you throw uh, strong ones after them, they will never be tired. They ask. So ask every time. Ask. Ask as a traveler, ask for the way. Have you walked? Have you gone for a journey and you don't know the place? You always ask. Even if somebody talks to you and tells you, I don't care, I, do, I, I don't, we always ask for the way. Then he tells us, seek as for a thing of value that we have lost. That's what Jesus is saying and he's telling us. When you are praying, you are maintaining this relationship, seek something valuable you have lost you, you look for it in your house you look for it everywhere you go to different places I know what at one time or another I have ever done so looking for something that is valuable to me I have sought for it gone to every extent every place seeking for where I must have dropped that one then he says knock as he that desires to enter into the house it is raining there is thunderstorm it is at night and you want to enter and it is your house and somebody is in either your spouse or your child or whoever it is and you are knocking the door you knock continuously so that they can open for you because outside there is not good so you knock the door so Jesus is saying ask seek and knock and you do it persistently. In fact, it, it, some, some of the uh, versions of the Bible, they say, keep knocking. One of the versions of the Bible, keep knocking, keep asking, keep seeking. In other words, it should be constant. You should constantly keep doing this so that you can reach and you can get it. The disciples are given confidence to persist in prayer. They are given that confidence that when you do pray and you keep seeking and knocking and asking it shall be given to you because human beings respond to positively to repeated appeals we can be certain that the heavenly father will answer a persistent prayer verse 8 that's what it says that the persistent prayer he will for everyone who asks receives he who seeks find and he and to him who knocks the door shall be opened or it will be opened for him so god says if we also do the same as human beings if we respond to appeals that are given to us an appeal somebody is knocking somebody is asking for something somebody is seeking the way as we respond to it our heavenly father the same way he will also ask he will also respond when we persist and we ask this is the confidence we have in approaching God that if we ask anything according to his will he hears us and if we know that he hears us whatever we ask we know that we have what we have asked of him First John chapter 5 verse 14 and 15. We ask according to his will. And the will of God is when we are not, we are not asking with any ill will, any ill motive, to pride, to brag ourselves, to show off. When we are asking this, and we are asking this from God, he is willing. God will answer us. That's what John is reminding us. The same gospel of John, the same John who I mean, um, the same John who wrote the gospel of John. He tell he talks about how when we ask God, when we seek from God, when we present our petitions, we have that confidence. We have the confidence when we are approaching God that anything that we ask according to His will, and His will is humility. His will that it is to serve. His will is to make sure that the kingdom expands. 
and, and, and expands and goes to the rest of the world. Not being selfish and self-centered. One of the challenges that we are facing as a world today is a self-centeredness. Self-centeredness. Name everything. Politics has become so self-centered. People are seeking about their own wealth. Look at politicians. Even a businessman. They are after their own to serve their own interest. Serving their own interest. Public servants are quite a number of them. I know they are very, those who are very committed. And we appreciate and we, we value you. People who are doing the great work. You are honest in your, your place of work. But there are those who are not very dishonest. There are those who are very dishonest. They do things to serve themselves. I also want to say, and which is very painful to me to say, that even we have pastors, we have bishops, we have people calling themselves men of God, but they are so self-centered. They think about themselves. They are not thinking about anything else, but they are thinking about themselves. They are thinking about their own interests. And this one is very dangerous. We have such. But when we seek, when we pray according to the will of God. So such people will make prayers but it is not according to the will of God. Because they want to satisfy their ego and everything. But Jesus is telling us. When we pray according to his will. He will answer us. So as you ask. As you abide in God. As you connect with him. As you trust him. Ask whatever you need. Ask whatever you need in his name. Ask whatever. Even Jesus assures his disciples. Ask whatever, whatever you need in my name. And I shall give you. I will give you. I will provide for you. I will never leave you. I will walk with you. That's how it is. And that's the relationship that God wants to create. That whatever we do, we do it for the benefit for his kingdom. And his kingdom is benefiting and serving of everyone else. Everyone that asks, receives. Whether a Jew or a Gentile. Young or old. Rich or poor. High or low, master or servant or slave, land or unland, or unlearned, all are alike, all are alike. Welcome to the throne of grace if they come by faith, if they come in faith. Everyone is welcomed. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter your parking crowd. Where you come from, what you do and what you have done, God is saying and God is telling us that he is ready and willing to hear. Do not be tired of asking. Do not be tired of communicating. Do not be tired of abiding in him because you maintain that relationship. Compared to the earthly parents, God is all wise. He knows what we need, what we desire, and what is fit for us. Praise the living God. You cannot lie to God. He knows everything about us. He knows us. He knows us as the, as I, like the back of our hands, as we know it. As we know everything about ourselves, God knows and he answers and he gives us according because he knows what we need each and every time. What we desire, what we desire from our heart. You know, even sometimes we go against the will of God when we ask that which is not according to our desire. It's like we, you verbose prayers. You say it and you are not even actually taking time. Let us never. Suppose our heavenly father would bind us to pray and then refuse to hear or give us what would be hurtful. Brothers and sisters, when God assures us that when we pray, he will hear. We seek and we will, he will fight. We will ask and will be given. We will knock and the door will be opened to us. When God tells us to pray, when God tells us to communicate with him, when God tells us to present our petitions and prayers to him, do not think that God will not hear. So are you there and you are so worried that probably you may not make it outside this pandemic, even by the end of this pandemic, you will have been completely gone because you lost your job. Probably your business went down. Probably you can't afford to make the hands meet. I want to tell you the truth. 
it is not true. It is not the situation that you are facing. That is danger to you. It is not COVID-19 that is destructive, that is dangerous to you. It is your attitude. It is you. Present it to God. Hallelujah. Present that petition to God. Present that prayer to God. He, God, is telling us, which one of you, though evil, human beings, you are evil, you have that attitude, you have bad attitude, you have, have self-centeredness, you have all that. When your child asks, they will not give. Even the Heavenly Father, when you ask, he will give you what you have asked for. If you ask, if you seek from him, if you knock the door, he will open. Why? Because he cares. You are, you are what he treasures. So my dear brother, my dear sister, do not worry. Do not give up. Do not be tired of seeking. And do not be tired of asking. Do not be tired of going before the eyes of God to present your petitions and your, your prayers. They are reaching him. God does not throw them away. He doesn't throw our prayers away. He hears every prayer that we utter to him. Above all, he does not give us that which will hurt us. So if you prayed for something and you did not get it, he knows what he is giving to you. He is not giving you, he is not giving you that which will not satisfy you, that, will, that which will not meet your needs. He will give you that which you need in your life. That which will satisfy you, that which will last, that which will keep on. This is the confidence that he keeps us always bowed to him who fulfills our requests. Hallelujah. There's nothing else that I enjoy and I love so much than when we know that we are, we are not telling someone who is deaf. Oh, somebody, let me not even use that one. You are not telling someone who cannot hear. You are telling someone who can hear. Yes, somebody who can hear. Even the deaf people are very important. They can hear because they can see the sign language. You are not telling a stone. Let me use that one. You are not telling a stone. A stone that cannot respond. You are telling God who hears, who responds. Human beings respond in different ways because they hear and they get messages from different, in, from, in different ways. But God he has every prayer that you present. Every petition that you present. Seek, ask, and knock. Don't be tired of knocking. Don't give up. Because things are not going the right way. Things are not functioning the, the way they're supposed to, to function. Things are not in their, right, in their proper perspective. As, as we have. Remain in him. And all your requests. Though they delay will be fulfilled in due time. Hallelujah. It is not that God is not hearing. Remain in him. Do not change. Do not look at the signs. Do not look anywhere else. Remain focused in God. He is going to hear. He will answer. The time is coming when you will answer that prayer. Always abide in him. Abide in Christ. He is our master. He is our Lord. He is who he is. He knows when. He knows how. And he knows what. So he knows when to give you. He knows how to give it to you. And he knows even how it will help you. He knows everything. Abide in the Lord. Do not give up. The confidence that we have is that God, when we pray, God hears our prayers. That is the confidence that we have. That's what John is reminding us. That is the confidence that we have. And because that confidence God has given us, it is here. He is, Jesus is assuring. Even if you pray, even if God knows how to give gifts, that's what we are getting. He knows how to give, give those gifts. He will not give you a gift that is not pleasing. He will give you that which is right for you. Probably, you are saying that I have, our work is, has gone down. Probably you've been praying for something. Who knows? As I mentioned again previously. Who knows? During this time of COVID-19, when everything looks hopeless, that's when your prayers is going to be answered. I mentioned again, 
and I want to reiterate again that sometimes there are things that we've been praying that they will happen this year but you have seen it delay who knows God was knew that COVID is coming and it's going to stop everything it's going to bring everything and stand still and today you are there and you're saying where you are saying there probably you did not travel probably you did not get that job and you are seeking God and probably you are complaining God knows how God knows how to give it to you he knows the best for you he knows when to give it to you God knows abide in the Lord trust in him he is the sure God every time communicate with him he is God who will never leave you he will never forsake you he is almighty he is our master and he loves us with an everlasting love in the name of God the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit amen I want to pray with you my dear brother my dear sister this evening wherever you are I want to pray that God will give you strength to remain focused never to lose hope never to lose your focus during these times of COVID-19 many people are losing their focus and that's serious death but those who remain focused they will never be shaken they will never be destroyed I want to pray with you so that God will give you strength at this time so that you can overcome the challenges that we are facing and the challenges that you might be facing not only you but even all others let's pray Almighty God in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ I want to pray for my brother I want to pray for my sister Almighty God look at how they have toiled they have prayed they have sought you they have even worked hard and sometimes things have not worked the way they wanted things have not happened the way they ought to happen they have not gotten that which they were looking for and somebody is crying because they did not get that which they were praying for and they got something else different holy God I pray that you teach us to appreciate everything that we present to you that the prayer petitions that we present to you whatever we receive back God you know the best that is needed that the best that we need righteous and ever living God I pray for my my brother my sister that Lord God Almighty you teach us to remain focused in you to remain in you to not never worry to never give up but Lord remain in you be rooted in you so that Jesus Christ we will grow we will walk and will overcome all the challenges we are facing challenges there's someone who is praying for a job God Almighty may you give them even at a time like now when people are being laid off God Almighty you can open a door open it in the name of Jesus I speak that that door will open for you even at a time like now when we are facing crisis and we are facing COVID-19 that door will open that opening will come that answer you've been praying for it shall come in Jesus name don't give up I pray the Lord Jesus Christ even when we are whatever we are we, we lacked and this we are facing crisis even in a midst of crisis it is not crisis for you in the name of Jesus I pray that they shall receive and they shall get it at the right time Father Almighty pray that you strengthen our faith the Lord Jesus Christ we shall show the world that we know you and we have a good relationship with you help us Lord and guide us help my brother help my sister the Lord Jesus Christ they will forever abide in you and we shall receive that which you have prepared for us we thank you and worship you for we pray all this believing and trusting in Jesus name Amen God bless you Amen.